That's awesome. Hold on. All right, people. We are back. So, uh, once again, we have Lunar. Hello. And, uh, I am. I am. <laughs> uh, back with Lunar. We were doing an episode at the end of commentary. And this is actually episode 100. Oh, cool. Yep, this is episode 100. That's interesting. Been doing this for a cool minute now. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> with uh, 1004 using some kind of deck. I, I, we don't know. So far, definitely he's running them golden bamboo swords and, you know, the so Teller engine. So it looks like he's just going to try to draw up a storm plus off of resources like crazy. Uh, versus uh, Alexander here, Alexander Andersons. And he is a fan of mine. He does, you can clearly see right here that he is a fan of mine. So yay. <laughs> oh, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> So, Infernoids versus what? Lots of Infernoids this week. Like I said, this deck is going up in popularity. Oh. You know, people are predicting that with enough hits to the, the current top decks. Uh, yeah, deck they, can... they'll be... they'll lead. Yep. And like I said, I, it's a fun deck. I, it, it's fun to nice... nice, fun casual deck to sit down with, but I would never play it because my luck is fucking terrible, so... And I can't stand luck, so... <laughs> I think Ritual Beast might, be, might do alright if the others... If the top decks get hit, because they've got the easy access to macro and defissure, they've got pretty consistent searching. They can wipe the field quickly. Mhm. Mm like I said they're deck number what six? Something like that. You know, deck number six. They're so they're not even in the top five. But uh, yeah, you know, I can. They're not gonna get hit. They're not gonna get hit. If they get hit, I'd be like, what? <laughs> oh man, freaking. Ghost, whatever, and Snow Rabbit, Yuki Usagi. It's like 65 quid. I don't know how many Damn. dollars that is, but that's a lot. Wow, he's actually playing uh, Piotti. Piotti, I, I maybe he's Piotti. playing. Maybe he's playing the uh, Tierra build, trying to get all of them. Hmm. I don't know. Me personally, I don't play Piotti. I read it, and I'm just like, that's not even worth it. What? I have no idea what <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Book of Life. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a zombie world. Why, you pl why play it now? You could have just said it. And made him try to come at it with like an MST yeah. or something. Like, You don't have to play that card immediately. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> That's it. Get ready. Yep. <laughs> you know, there's actually some people that say that this the this Attila Night Engine shouldn't be hit as well. I know Mega Capital G didn't hit it on his list. I'm like, what? Star Surf Engine. Oh yeah, Star uh, Surf Engine. <laughs> My bad. That's the Teller Engine. That's a different engine. Not a Star Surf Engine. I don't know. It is. It's. There's no order to the chain. <laughs> it. There's no order to the chain. <laughs> I went to what? A regional? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I went to what? A regional and a YCS? And, and, and both times they're now, so it doesn't matter. The <laughs> order. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Definitely should be hit. Like, they made their money off of it. <laughs> yep. So he's just gonna be plussing. I wonder if he wanted the Delta Horse because he's actually playing some kind of version of Teller Knights. Maybe. I, I have no idea what <laughs> what is going on. You can't. You can't. <laughs> the cell is coming through. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Like, how does that? How does a combo like that not deserve to be hit? Like, you fucking crazy? Like, that, the card, this combo's too much. Combo's too much. Like, they made their money off of it. This is gonna be like Noden. They're probably not gonna hit Noden. They'll probably hit Noden related cards, like freaking the Phoenix, but they're not gonna hit Insta Fusion Node itself. Go ahead and sell them pins. 
Because when mm-hmm. I hit his diffusion, then they only need one ten with one noting, when they could just let it go, and then sell three tens or three notings, with, and you have your three in diffusion, and then when they look at the meta right now, there's not a lot of decks that can really utilize uh, noting like that. No. No. It's not like we have infinity or anything. So, Alexander, it is your turn. What are you going to do? Banish Harmadick and... I didn't see who the other one he banished us. Alright. Summon a Tundle. Well, that was a Tundle. Isn't a Tundle 8? Yeah, 8. Yeah. It's like, you, you can't do that, right? Yeah, you can. It's eight or less. It's eight or less, less. yes. Oh. It's not less than eight. Eight or less. Okay, so eight is the limit. So it has to be eight or or lower, okay. Alright, so summon the tondle, smack. I know you can double a tondle. Oh. But doesn't a tondle have to kill a monster to, to make a second attack? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, go ahead and kill a Dothros. No, the question is, is he actually running any Telenats in there? No. Nope. Ooh. I got some nice chunk out of them life points. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> kind of sucks that he had to activate that upstart goblin. Main phase 2 fell ground? That, that, would be, that would be the power. There yeah. it is. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, I'm not sure, but it really didn't seem like them upstarts were nece- that upstart was necessary. We should have calculated it and then realized that. Oh, I can end this right now if I don't play this upstart. <clears throat> Dark Wind Dealings again. This guy is just What the hell is drunk. this death? I don't know. Yeah. Golden Bamboo Swords, Teller Knight Engine, like, just drawing up a storm. Some Zombies. Zombie, zombie Teller Knight? I mean, Star- I'm actually calling Star Surf <laughs> Teller Knights. Oh, that's it? That's game- that, oh, wait, that was game two? Aw. I thought that was game one. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Get another duel in. Be right back. Alright. So, we're gonna stalk Alexander today. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Yugs 360. Or 1086. Oh, oh, well, that reveals your deck. Mmm. Mmm. This is mmm. I do like Yangling. Oh, mmm. Sedimus is gonna fuck you up. I'm just gonna start saying that right now. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, 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 Aaron! Oh, <laughs> They're so bad. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh my god. The scoop it! <laughs> wow, alright. Well, I'm not even gonna count that. Wow. wow. Be right back. Wow. Alright. <laughs> wow. That Aaron is so powerful. I feel your pain, man. When I was dueling <laughs> in webcam duels and he summoned that, he top decked that Aaron and kicked my Terry, man. I'm tired of this shit. I was dueling, so everybody always top decks and beats me. It's like, damn. Reasoning, though. So, once again, Alexander, <laughs> he's slowly getting his ranks up, people. Slowly getting it up. People keep scooping. Losing. <laughs> Versus Pablo here, 7 Eleven. Says as you wish. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep, keep going. Keep going. And hey. summon. <laughs> I like Lumina because she allows you to access to them synchro plays, but I don't like her because she's slow. Cause yeah. She mills during the end phase. I do like Card Trooper, though. Yeah. Like I, I, re- I think like, if I was play in my inferno, I don't really play. I don't play Lumina. No I mean, problem. she's good. I play two Raiden, two Lila, two Card Trooper. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and some Decatrons maybe. Well, I, I, I would play Decatron as soon as it. Uh, yeah, would come I'm, down the TCG. I right know. I'm just doing. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, yeah, I'm just doing a pure TCG deck right now. Like I said, that's the reason I like Lumina. Like I said, in uh, Daily Duels, that, that clearing Synchro Dragon saved my ass, so. Because <laughs> that man was a 
a dumb butt. <laughs> I had clear wings and dragon, and this man summons a dark arm, and instead of killing my clear wings and dragon by running over, he <laughs> actually activates the effect. Yeah. Wow, uh, idiot. <laughs> 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 I kill his heart. Then he summons uh, uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, right? Uses Red yeah. Eyes Darkness Metal effect and summons uh, his um, uh, Black Metal. The Black Metal oh, okay. one that equips. Right? Yep. And if he would equip to his uh, Redem, he would have been stronger than my other Inferno Monster out of Field of Romeo. So he goes activate effect to equip onto the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. I'm like. Uh, uh, clear ring effect. You targeted a level five or higher. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burning abyss. Versus... Can't you just doesn't? Isn't it a sort of effect to just negate the effect of a level five or higher? The first no. The first one was to no. It's like if it's targeted and then if it's the effect of level five or higher. So when the effect of level five or higher oh, for dark arm okay. activated, I killed it. And then the okay. same turn when he targeted his dreadum, which is a level five or higher, I killed oh, that. The same turn. The oh, same okay. turn. I used both effects. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Mm, yeah, that is, that is kind of pretty. Dante off. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a hit for burning abyss on my bandless prediction though, but it's not a big one. It's just Dante too. Dante the 2 is a fine first hit for Burning Abyss. Mm-hmm. Lower your reliance on Dante all the damn time, because triple Dante is a little bit too much. Like, you can have your 3 fire lake. For now. If it gets to be a problem, then go ahead and hit it. But it's clear, it's clear that triple Dante is the thing that should be addressed in Burning Abyss, and that's it. You can have your graph, you can have your scarm, you can have your sir, I don't care, but... Ah, I mean... I mean, you're, you're not even tier... Even if they just rip Necro the new one, you're still not even in, what, the top five decks? You're mm. still kind of tier two. You only need a little bit more than that. Like, you think that you're going to be freaking tier one? Hey, psst. Psst. Yeah. Please play lose one turn, GG. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, man. I don't know. Stun decks might even rise up if... <laughs> After this shit gets hit with Lunar Turn, because you know, send you and Volcanic. Yeah, Lunar Turn is just a, it's another one of them cards, I swear. If mm. TCG was smart, they would hit it. Because it, it, it really does, it really does contradict their, uh, their hit to skill drain. Mm hmm. Because it's pretty clear that they have it just staying for skill drains, that's why they hit it, the whole floodgate thing, and then you, and then. I know it's not TCG. If it's a TCG exclusive, then I'd be like, "What the fuck?" But it's not, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, both it was created by OCG and carried over here because it just happened to be in the set. So TCG couldn't control that. That was actually a card in the set. Not like they could control it. Like, um, uh, wasn't there like some card that they didn't bring? Oh, like Noden. <laughs> they, mm-hmm. they, they couldn't control it, like Noden. It was already in the set, it's already coming over here, and it's literally the same thing, you know? It's a, it's a little bit more balanced than Skill Drain, of course, but in some ways it's not, you know? <laughs> it's another one of the negative cards where you're only yeah. running it to... It feels like, like, like at least Skill Drain affected the whole field, like, equally. I know some decks didn't care about being Skill Drain, like Dark Worlds and stuff, and Klee, but... Mm-hmm. Like, loser turn doesn't affect normal summon, so decks that just normal summon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, can actually just abuse the shit out. They're of just it. like, oh, it's just extra deck monsters that have the effects that are broken, so let's just go ahead and make this card. Like, no. Like, then you have promoting normal summon cards, like freaking, you know, Cleese, there. I mean, that kind of sucks in comparison, because, you know, they'd probably rather have their effects engaged and have their original attack. But, you know, all yeah. the only way they're affected is through their Pendulum Summon, so they don't give, give a crap. Uh, it's time for you to get Fire Lake, sir. <laughs> say, he declares an attack response. The attack decoration, you gonna do anything, Pablo? He's also running them other like Olympics and shit. He said I'm still still not a big fan of uh of the other infer- other burning abyss. 
Yeah. Yeah, but say he's probably just gonna go ahead and activate uh uh what's that card? The, the quick play spell? Um Seer. Right? Yeah, Seer. Yeah, that card's good. It's really good. <laughs> Yeah, karma cut. Response. Chain. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna play Satan now. He's just gonna go ahead and banish. Banish that fucking pedo. Yep. <laughs> Get that pedo out of here. I really do like <laughs> pedo in Burning Abyss. He is pretty cool. What do you think of Fiendish Rhino? I don't even know what he does. He. I think he pitches. I, I can't remember. <laughs> that one, what do so you think of? <laughs> level, level three fiend, and he's one of his effects is someone do a pitching a fiend. Level three. Hmm. That card's not in TCG, is it? No. It's a Korean well, exclusive. Well, actually, it might be. I, it was a Korean exclusive when it first came out. Hmm. So is he gonna I do don't it? Know if it came out here I forgot what we were talking about. Oh yeah, scoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he already knows what's in his hand. What do you say? It's just Dante, 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 Dante. Oh no, he has a plan. He has what, seven right now? Yeah, he can still go ahead and summon another Inferno right during main phase two. Alright, so... Dante, kill your Skarn? Response? So, so his attack is down to a thousand, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know how it works. <laughs> like, okay, I guess. I mean, phase two is gonna go ahead and banish an infernoid. I'm an infernoid. Yep. Hold my dick. Hold my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, twenty six dollars. Yeah, man. I hyped it up, and it is probably one of the key cards. So he's gonna go harm a dick. Go ahead and destroy. And I guess he's just gonna go harm a dick tribute. Banish the scarm. Still got to deal with that Dante, though. Isn't Dante <laughs> in defense mode? No, because it got its effect negated. Oh, so it doesn't go in defense mode? No. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Tour guide. Nope, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Even with, uh... Even with one tour guide, that tour guide plays are still powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I still wish Talk Guy could come back up for free. I just bought free. Sorry. It was a totally justified hit. I thought uh, too, but. You should just ban Scarm and then you can put Talk Guy pet to free. Nigga. Like, you know, that's a little bit extreme. No. Nope. for a deck they're trying to promote. <laughs> Scoopy, they're done now. Yeah, they're done. Just slowly wean them out. It's time for them to slowly wean it out, so they're probably going to do small little hits until the deck is not competitive anymore. So they'll probably start with Dante to two. Then, if it persists, they'll look at decks and probably fire like to one and probably hit. It'll probably be uh, Surf first. No, Graph first. What am I going to summon my Edge in? No, no, no. Probably, probably, probably Surf first. I'm looking at some of my edge and scissors with now. Sorry. <laughs> oh, he's actually running Barbar. Weird. Barbar sucks. Oh god, is that it? Yeah, it'll probably be Sir. Take 15. 
the head? Did you actually get killed by running a myth like this? <laughs> Attack this 800. It's 27. No, that's not game. And I guess he'll go into another Dante. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for banishing his scum. <laughs> now you're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> Seventeen thousand. Yep. Now make good stuff somehow. <laughs> so, he picks two. Go into another, another Dante. Dante, 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 Dante. <laughs> so if you hit Dante to two, it's slow down deck, so then you have to use your Dante to put your Dante back, or you have to be out of Dante's on your second Dante. And then you have three, I mean, you don't give any fucks. It's pretty clear he doesn't give any fucks. You gonna turn this two into a Dante? I heard you like Dante. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like Dante. You see someone in Dante, you're using someone in the Dante, synchro someone in the Dante. That's not, that's, 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 not, that's not Virgil, that's Dante. It's just Dante in disguise. <laughs> Virgil summoned into Dante. <laughs> Pedro summoned into Dante. Like, yep. It's all about Dante. Dante dot deck. <laughs> <laughs> what would Burning Abyss be without Dante? Kind of crappy. No. Yeah, nothing without Dante. Sorry. If you, had, probably a try. If you had a they couple try. more tuners, then maybe you could possibly do uh, yeah. a Virgil dot deck, but you only have one, so. I think the ver the uh, fusion Dante has potential. It just has uh, to just be Dante's with different names. The spell card was better. The fusion spell. Yeah, and it had to be Dante's with different names. Mm. Actually, gonna do Barbar. What do you think of Barbar? I think he sucks. <laughs> Damn. All right, sir. So oh, three. we burn M nine hundred. Oh, what a strong effect. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> so I heard you like down it. Can't believe we play three. Mm 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 mm. I play running, but I rarely do the downward play. I remember when I used to have a space in my extra, like, I didn't know what to fill with. I used to put down it in just when, because it was when Snatch Steel was a thing, just so I could steal a Dante and then put down it on top of it. <laughs> oh, Regeki Break. Okay. Well, which has been granted now. Yeah. They give you. But he has another set card. I want to see this. And all of these Dantes are gonna go off and shit. This is gonna be dumb. <laughs> this is gonna be dumb. Like I said, Dante the two. I just talked about how stupid Dante is, and look at this. Look at this stupidity. So I'm assuming he got the big one that wipes the monsters, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need you. Yeah. No. Oh no. Sadness. Right. Can banish two more. Oh. Damn. Two Big seven. guy. I don't know. No. Attack. Attack. Banish. Attack, banish. Banish. Yeah. And then all them Dantes and all of them. He has a Dante. Dante. Yep. Dante. He has a graph. So it's gonna be something pretty just from the deck. Like, oh my <laughs> god. He's yeah, supposed to be negging like, anything. Oh, I don't want to play anymore. This is gonna take way too long. So it comes down to that back row. What's gonna happen in this duel? It definitely looks like he's gonna need both the sediments to do their job. Oh? Oh. I thought oh. he was gonna attack first. Yeah. This is weird. Yeah, this is weird. Circle sack. Well, surely you could have done that after you attacked. No, yeah, you could have done that after you attacked. Okay. 
Yeah. And what, how much attack does that have? The 26. Who? Oh. The uh, ones he exceed with. Okay, he has a ton now. They're 25, aren't they? 25, 25, and 23. Okay. I was thought I meant the uh, the size to mass, whatever it's called. No, right. the, so, the ones the Greek. Saga, blow up that, Dante okay. of fat. <laughs> Grab back whatever. Why would you blow up the one with the least attack? I don't know, that's weird. Dante on. Yeah. Select your Dante target. Maybe maybe Alexander's got this. Sir, alright. So it's gonna target sir response. You can do a tondo. Tondo tribute the other token. Oh no, he says that's fine. Okay. He wants that Drake that protection. Tondo. Kill one down. Dante effect. Pedo pedo. Kill the Atondo. Chain. And it's the other pedo. Dante effect. <laughs> look at this, look at this. <laughs> grab a grab. Four grab. hours later. Yeah, four hours later. <laughs> Well, what are the tokens? Three, though. So. Oh, but they're normal monsters, right? So, we can still summon. Mm hmm. That's what he wants to do. Nope, it's just gonna end. Alright. Mm. Yeah, doesn't Downard have piercing? I think it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, piercing down and attack the token game. GG. Yep. Damn. Wow, this is a long duel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What was that? What were you talking about? You being tier one? You just lost yep. like fucking deck number five. T dude. Tier one infernally. <laughs> you just lost the deck number five, dude. You got out but, but if Necros are hit, then then they be tier one. Because, no. No. you know. Yeah, if just Necros get hit and nothing else, yep. like, um, if that were true, then doesn't that mean that you did deck number two right now? <laughs> <laughs> you're not even, you're not even in the top five. <laughs> All right, let's see this. I said, you're another mill deck, so I totally want to see your side deck. Hopefully it's like Christia's and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and come right back. <laughs> Alright, we're back. So, I guess this will be an extra long episode to celebrate episode 100. Oh. Hey, mm -hmm. that's back row. Oh. Alright. Special summon Skarm. What? What kind of question is that? Yeah. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't Scum be the one you want to know? Oh, okay, I guess it was correct. Yeah. Go into Dante! <laughs> it's all about Dante, isn't it? How many? Three. All right. Wow. Did you see that? Sir, uh, Scum, Buff, alright. Yep, all three of them. That's crazy. So who's the graph, sir? Alright, so that's sir. Who's graph summoning? And you get the search during the unfaith, despite not attaching the scarm. It's special summoning the scarm. Oh, you don't get the scarm during the unfaith, actually. No, he's special summoned. Good. Good. <laughs> no tour guide. So who are you summoning with graph? Okay. Really? Another Dante? 
See? See, shit like this. That makes Triple Dante dumb. Cards fair. <laughs> <laughs> Double up start. Damn, doesn't even wait to see what he draws off the first time. He doesn't care. He needs to go. Gotta go fast like Sanic. <laughs> You're too slow. I don't want to talk about Sanic. I'm so upset. Why? Did you did you see the announcement of their new game? No. You won't I believe did. it. You won't believe it. You're gonna be like, are you fucking shitting me? What? Tell me. Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. <laughs> that just sounds stupid. Like, wait, 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 wait. You're doing another Sonic Boom? Sonic Boom. <laughs> it was not the mobile game. No, that was the terrible one with the new characters. The ones on the Wii, on the Wii Oh, U. I don't even know, I don't even Oh my god, terrible ass Sonic. Sonic, Sonic is not my jam. Damn. 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 <laughs> Damn. Damn, Minecraft's so powerful. Damn. Fair, it's not fair! I only get to see your hand and discard something. Whatever you just searched. And if you happen to have another, another one of them. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and... Who are you destroying? Alright. Arte's gonna grab sir. Oh my god, this man disconnected. <laughs> what happened then? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can do it, Alexander. Oh, there's that powerful oh, monster gate. Yep. When reasoning isn't enough. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Should we mill three? Yeah, some of seeds in Galaxy Cyclones, but then Galaxy Cyclones in a grave aren't gonna do much. Damn. Can you only use the effect of uh Harmony Deck once per turn only once that turn? Yeah, I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. And I don't know, maybe not. Mm. Oh, now I can look. No, he can do it multiple times. Seven minutes attack. So, whatever he summons with Sir. So, if he summons with Sir, it's just gonna get banished, so. So, you're actually gonna go Sir effect? Well, I guess it would block you from the 19 that you're about to take, but hey, you got 10,000 life points, so why do you care? <laughs> Is it worth it? Okay, it's optional. I was like, wait, does that affect mandatory to vanish? Are you going to banish your own card trooper <laughs> if he doesn't summon? <laughs> like, no, it's optional. So, what's up? What's up, Pablo? Are you gonna... Sir on Dante. Dante on... Farfa. That's fine. Just let him know. I'd say that's fine. And go ahead and have Sedimus banish the Dante during the end of the battle phase. So, there's one Dante gone. I already used two Dantes on first fucking turn. Like, that's ridiculous. If you semi limit him, then you don't be more careful with your Dante. <laughs> no. Is that a mess back? Vanish. That's it. Alright. Scarm effect. Doesn't matter because he sent two, so it doesn't even matter if you do a Tondal. I mean, Sedimus. <laughs> Grab that tour guide. Yep. Damn. Look at Alexander. But Inferno just so broke. 
I mean, yeah, yeah next tier one. Next tier one. You're getting shit kicked out of you by fucking deck number. Yeah. Five. Of the life point resource. Uh, I, I resource him. I life point him. This out everything in him. So. So it's where I got. Look at. Mhm. It's gonna summon Libic. Maybe I should play Libic in my Burning Abyss. I don't know. I'm not a fan of him. I'm not a maybe, fan of the majority of them. Maybe he's <laughs> one of, but still. Okay. Actually, I'm quite a fan of uh, what was the one that came out with Barbar, the kind of dragon guy. Instead of being Dragal Dragalog or something like that. Drag, drag, uh, the one that puts one on top. Yeah, drag. I think I think he's alright. Like a fat and summon Graf. I was just summoning Farf. Going to Dante. So there you go. This is all three Dantes again. <laughs> What kind of Dante is fucking 250 bucks? <laughs> it's like, no, does that Dante come with all the Devil May Cries, <laughs> the book, the <laughs> dirt just, <laughs> okay, and, uh, Dante's Inferno, the video game. <laughs> I have a Dante IRL. Yay. One Dante. <laughs> One singular Dante. I got it really cheap. Oh, awesome. See You said run over that Sedimus. And Dante run over the trooper. Let's go ahead and draw a card though. Mmm. So now what are you gonna do? Ask Gillen's a pretty cool guy. Stops you from special summoning and doesn't afraid of anything. It doesn't matter because, you know, Burning Abyss is trying to play Skill Dream, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. Yeah, it's trying to play Skill Dream just because Acid Golem. Easy access to Acid Golem, play Skill Dream. Solid morning, damn. Hey, he's back down to 8,000. <laughs> so low. Hmm. Well. You definitely have to summon Inferno right now, because if you don't, you're going to get hit for exactly 55, so... Inferno is tier 1. I don't know. Tier 1, getting his ass beat hard. <laughs> Damn. What happened to that tier 1, Alexander? I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> and right at the start, he was like, well... I'm playing Inferno and you're playing Burning Vip, you don't stand a chance. I know, he was talking all that good shit. Yeah. He was like, oh, shit, you don't stand a chance, Burning Vip. <laughs> it gets 2 0 GG. Alright, so, there we go. Oh, good thing I have my side deck on Reiki now. I know, good thing I have my side deck on Reiki now. Oh. <laughs> what was his side deck? Miss Keys and shit? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, sorry, no. You're too luck based, you can't have access to your uh, side deck that easily, and with enough back row and floodgates, you'll easily get crushed and paranoid, so. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, gonna go ahead and call that. So, uh, thank you, Luna, for joining me. No Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, we see you guys next weekend. Well, I'll see, I'll see you guys next weekend. <laughs> Not Luna. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next weekend with some more DM Do commentary. Alright, people, thanks for watching. Thank you.